Good morning everyone and welcome back. If new to the channel, my name is Dan and I'm building a straight tailed Sonex with a Jabiru 3300 engine. Uh, I'm heading out to the shop today to start working on the plane, but first we gotta check on the chickens. Hey ladies! Burr. Burr. All right, so last we left off, I had cleaned the shop and put the two fuselage sides on and the front firewall. Just hold on there for just a little bit to uh, make sure it's balanced. Um, now's the time I'm going to start drilling up all of the 40 size Clicos to the 30 size. Uh, but I'm gonna do a couple measurements first to make sure that the tub is as aligned as it can be slash should be. Um, so I'll get my measuring tape out and do all that. But the truth be told with how pre-cut everything is and pre-drilled, I can't imagine it being very off. So I'll go ahead and um, do what I can, but not expect much difference. Um, I might put a little bit of, yeah, I don't foresee there being really any type of difference at all with having how these two are attached. But I'll check it out. With the next step being to drill up these size 40s to 30s, I was a little bit nervous about how much bend there would be in the fuselage just from normal stresses on it, no matter where you look at it. So I went ahead and I called my dad. And to give you a little bit of a background on my dad, he is an AMP, he's an electrician, he's a plumber, he is was a captain for Delta on the 777, and he has built five airplanes. Um, so he knows a thing or two about mechanics and things like that. And I asked him, I said, do I need to get, like, get an inclinometer to really check the angles? And, and he told me the story about um, one of his friends who worked at Boeing installing flaps in the 737s. And he says the number one tool was a sledgehammer because when the part didn't fit, you just bang it with a sledgehammer till it fits. He said with the airplane like this, speeds were doing the, the G-forces. He said a half a degree, a degree, you will never notice it. It's almost impossible to get right. And then plus when the temperature changes, your entire fuselage is gonna tweak one way versus another. So uh, he said, don't overthink it. Um, so just make sure it's reasonably straight and then go ahead and drill it up and just, um, just go for it. So here we go. Tried to take the tail off and the entire airplane wanted to shift forward so i'm getting these extra saw horses so i can get the weight under the boat both sides without it flopping over Hey, all right, so I got the left side finished. I'll go ahead and walk you through it. And I also want to show you two things. So I'm bringing it on here to show you. First is that I have Clecos in every single one of these holes. That's not 100% necessary. You can kind of do every other hole if you want to. And I'm sure someone in the comments will point it out if I don't mention that. Uh, but I do it for two reasons. One, I just like knowing 100% nothing's gonna shift when I'm tweaking this. Uh, and drilling it up, but two, I just think it looks nice and I'm building this airplane for fun and for the enjoyment So why I might as well put the Clicos in the spots that hold on and, and enjoy it for what it is uh, The other thing is that take a look at the skin overlap right here. It is very uh, Nice and flat with no bumps along the way and that's on all the way up and back when you drill From the 40 to the 30 size a lot of times there will be um, bits of shavings that get between there and that pushes the metal parts apart but when I go in and I deburr it and get all those shavings out it'll be flat again so that way it'll have a nice seam all the way across but you can see this area has kind of a, a few different bumps and, and push outs but those will go away when I uh, deburr and get all that out. Finish both the left and the right side of the turtle deck and now I'm working on the aft shear web, which is this piece right here. I was running into a little bit of a problem because I had 
this former drilled into one of the pieces back there, but I finally just unclecoed it because I was not able to get the shear web to go up high enough where it needs to. Uh, but now I have it free and I've started to put in the clecos from below uh, and then coming up here to put them in to hold it up. And I'll now drill up these from the 40 to the 30. Well, I'll get the 40 in first, then drill up the 30 and then uh, keep going. So yeah. Got the uh, webbing started pretty well, but I need to work on that a little bit more. But I went ahead and started taking off the clecos and getting the turtle deck ready to take off. Um, my wife's gonna come out here in a few minutes and help me pull it off, it's a little bit cumbersome. And uh, once it's off, I can go back and finish that webbing back there. And then I can go ahead and start dimple dyeing and getting the skin ready for final assembly with this. Uh, there are two control rod guides. Now I'll need to drill in at some point in time. Uh, these go across the, sp uh, the back webs. Uh, this is a, a guide for the elevator tube to go through, but they recommend don't actually putting those in until the elevator's in so you make sure it's in the right spot. All right, so my wife came out. She helped me take the back off. And now it's kind of a cool angle I haven't seen before because I have the front fuselage on. So let me see if we can get a better shot of this for you. Almost looks like a big boat at this point in time. The trail deck is here on the ground. I'm going to slowly go through that to assemble it. And right now I'm still working on this aft web. And I got to tack down all these holes and then the seatbelt harness. And then I'm a, I think I'm about done then for this. And I can go ahead and put it back together. I'm finishing up the aft web here. This goes in the back of the airplane where the tail is. The bolts that hold the horizontal on will go through this longeron, followed by an additional piece that's held on by this, and then it'll be bolts on through there. And then this piece also attaches that piece into another third one. It's pretty strong. Same with back here. These are where the bolts will go to hold the uh, tail on in the back. It's looking pretty good. You have to get underneath the airplane and drill up. So it's a little bit difficult to do. And I think I have a lot of aluminum all over my face and in my ears. So I was doing upside down on my back. So it's a little exhausting, but it's part of the job. So it may look like I'm processing a whale here, but I have the turtle deck upside down so I can work on it. I'm going to go by um, rib by rib, take the rib off, dimple dye the rib, dimple dye the skin underneath. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint it, get all ready so I can put the rib back on. And then when I, all the ribs are complete on all sides, I can pull the skin up and around and um, clico it in and then put it back on the airplane. All right, so I went ahead and I got the one, two, three, four, first five of these done, including this front horn here. I've also dimple dyed all the way out and around. So now I gotta dimple dye, well I've already dimple dyed these. But I gotta get the rest of the dimple dyes and the rest of the uh, dimples on the last three ribs. Then I'm ready to move on to the next part. I'm gonna call it for today and uh, next time I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna keep working on this and keep moving forward. I finished countersinking these two longerons. And then all of a sudden I looked over left and I noticed something was off about this. If I get over the middle, you'll see. I uh, accidentally swapped these two ribs back uh, and put them in the wrong spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out and put them in the wrong area and uh, swap them. But uh, it's one of those things when you get your heads down work, sometimes you just drive right through and, and do the wrong thing, but that uh, happens to the rest of us. So I'll go ahead and uh, switch it out now. I moved this outside with the help of my wife because this table's kind of weird to pick up by yourself with how floppy the thing is. I uh, painted the side right here, which will go uh, into the dimple dies, and then went ahead and put the Clecos back in. And now I'm gonna see if I can pick it up single-handedly and stick it back on top of there. So, <laughs> uh, wish me luck.
I took the two side fuselage panels off and the firewall so that way I could try and get this on a little bit easier. It's uh, hard to get in there, but I think that uh, since all the holes are drilled properly, it shouldn't be a problem with the uh, alignment. And finished. I have all the bits inside done. Uh, where the seatbelt holder is, I'm having a little bit of interference with that one particular rib, so I need to work on that. I think that one over there is fine, but I'll take a look at that tomorrow. Um, top is on. Every cleat goes in, so I really wanted this to be as uh, aligned as possible. I even did uh, two different sawhorse styles with this wood across to really make sure it's there. I popped this web on in the back here as well, too. And then got this side as well. And I'm done for the day. I'm also injured. I cut my finger pretty bad. I've been bleeding all over the place. So another typical shop day for the Sonic. So I'll uh, get on it again soon. But thanks so much for watching.